A lot has been written about human civilization, and some things have already been established as true and remain uncontested. However, this past decade, an archaeological site, Gebekli Tepe, was discovered in Turkey, which dramatically changed our entire perception about the beginning of civilization. Many of such historical artifacts lurk around in our Earth, waiting to be discovered to give us new insights into our history, only if we knew where to look. Fortunately, some of the most shocking ones have been found, and in today's video we'll be sharing with you 10 of the most interesting archaeological discoveries recently made by man. Before we do that though, remember to take a sec to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for new updates. Done that? Right, let's get into it. Roman Building in Israel Archaeologists have discovered the final piece of an impressive building beneath Jerusalem's western wall, which they believe may have acted as a welcome hall for members of the Jerusalem City Council on their way to Temple Mount. Archaeologist Charles Warren uncovered portions of the site in the 19th century, and further excavations in the 20th century revealed more of the structure. With its vaulted underground ceiling and little holes for sunlight to come through the roof, it seems almost eerie. Who knows what crucial discussions or plans took place here? According to the Israel Antiquities Authority, the structure, which was previously comprised of two passageways joined by a fountain, was built between 20 and 40 AD while Israel was under Roman authority. During the first Jewish revolt against the Romans, which lasted from 66 to 73 AD, the structure was only used for a few decades. The receiving hall was abandoned after the Roman army stormed Jerusalem. According to experts, the corridors were originally furnished with beautiful sofas for council members and their visitors to recline on before journeying to Judaism's holiest shrine. People may have eaten there as well. According to live science, between the 5th century BC and the 3rd or 4th century AD, specific rooms for dining while lying down were widespread among the Greek Hellenistic and Roman cultures. Buried Tunnel Located in Modern-Day Mexico City Tenochtitlan, the former Aztec capital, was frequently flooded. They erected a flood control system called the Albaradon de Escapatec by the Spanish to battle the surging waters. The Aztecs developed many methods to safeguard the city, including dikes and rivers to manage the flow of water. They had bridges and canals as well as many other feats of engineering. During the early days of colonization, the Spanish conquistadors failed to recognize the Aztecs' technical skills as they destroyed pre-Hispanic constructions. The Spanish then developed new flood control systems and repaired old ones, including the ones the Aztecs left behind when flooding became an issue again. With semicircular arches and lime and sand mortars, the tunnel now bears the markings of Spanish architectural design. This mix of features indicates a unique blending of indigenous Aztec and Spanish cultures. Biblical Inscription Archaeologists working in the Judean foothills recently discovered a tiny jug with a puzzling 3,100-year-old inscription. The antique inscription dates back to the time of biblical judges and refers to a man named Jerob Baal. The engraving dates from 1100 BC, and it may be the first time a name from the biblical narrative of the judges has been uncovered on an historical artifact. Experts indicated in a press statement to the Times of Israel that Jerobal was the name of the judge Gideon ben Yoash. The inscription was written in ink, and the crew isn't sure if the relic actually belonged to Gideon. In a press release, principal archaeologist Joseph Garfinkel referenced biblical accounts that Gideon assembled a 300-man army and attacked their Midianite enemies in the dark. They admitted that the inscription could refer to a different Jeroboam because the name was popular at the time. Still, the find is especially interesting since it could be more evidence that biblical tradition reflects reality. Visigoth Sarcophagus Archaeologists discovered a 1,500-year-old Visigothic sarcophagus while excavating an ancient Roman colony in Spain this summer. Even more intriguing, human remains were discovered inside. According to excavation head Rafael González Fernández, the discovery was absolutely unexpected. The grave, which is around 6 feet long, dates from the 6th or 7th century. It's in excellent shape and includes ivy leaves, intricate geometric motifs, and the Chi Rose sign, a prominent emblem of Christian artwork that signifies the triumph of the resurrection. They're all present. The Romans benefited from the region's natural riches for ages, providing silver, healthy crops, and raw materials such as marble and sandstone. They created mosaic flooring from olive presses, thermal spas, and other magnificent structures. The Visigoths were a Germanic group who invaded Roman lands as the empire crumbled. 
Blythe Intaglios Desert Glyphs The Blythe Intaglios are a series of unexplained enormous human and animal geoglyphs painted onto the ground surface between 450 and 2000 years ago in the Colorado Desert near Blythe, California. The human figurines, either created by the Mojave or Quechan Native Americans, depict Mastamho, whom the tribes believe to be the creator of all life. Atakulia, one of the two mountain lions that assisted in creating, is represented by the animal glyphs. According to the U.S. Bureau of Land Management, these massive figures are difficult to see at ground level due to their size, with the largest human depiction measuring 167 feet long. They were not placed in the National Register of Historic Places until 1982. Still, nevertheless, the Blythe in Tuglios remains a mystery to this day, partly because of a lack of archaeological data that makes it impossible for researchers to date them, and partly because their purpose is also unknown. Ancient Banquet Hall In July 2021, Polish researchers working in Cyprus uncovered an ancient banquet hall where sacrificial animals' meat was eaten and wine was drunk in honor of the gods. The banquet hall dates back about 2,000 years. It's the country's first find of its kind, discovered among the ruins of an old temple on Fabrica Hill in the ancient city of Neapolis. Between the 2nd century BC and the mid-2nd century AD, the construction was in use. Both the banquet hall and the temple, according to scientists, were destroyed by an earthquake in 150 AD. In Roman culture, it was usual to revere the gods throughout the Mediterranean, although academics are unsure which gods were honored at this location. The team aims to learn more about the answers by continuing their research at Neapolis, where excavations have existed for decades. Neapolis was founded at the end of the 4th century BC in the southwestern section of the island and served as the capital of Cyprus from 200 BC to 350 AD. During the Hellenistic period, it was first ruled by the Seleucid Empire, and then the city was ruled by the Greek Ptolemaic dynasty who ruled Egypt, and after that it passed hands down to the Roman Empire. Pre-Babylonian Settlement A 4,000-year-old urban community discovered in the Dikar region of southern Iraq is helping to shed light on some of the world's earliest civilizations. The settlement sat along the banks of a creek in the heart of the ancient Sumerian Empire, only 19 miles from the metropolis of Ur. Rusted arrows, stone shards and prehistoric clay camels dating from the early Iron Age as well as the remains of a temple wall measuring 7 feet high and 13 feet wide have been discovered at the site. There's also evidence of an ancient harbour that served both river and sea vessels and the first known signs of silt-based agriculture. According to researcher Alexei Jankowski, the village was the capital of a polity that arose when the Babylonian civilization collapsed in the 2nd millennium BC. The location, dubbed the Cradle of Civilization, has an estimated 1,200 sites that formerly occupied the Mesopotamian Delta. There is much to learn about the Babylonians and those who came before them. This latest revelation is crucial in aiding researchers' understanding of these early cultures and nations. Gobekli Tepe Neolithic Site The infamous site we mentioned at the beginning of the video. Experts were called to the site in modern-day Turkey after locals uncovered ancient ceramic fragments and artifacts by chance, and archaeologists discovered the bones of six individuals and a three-hold musical instrument dating back roughly 8,500 years. The crew discovered human skeletons and weapons. Wheat, lentils and barley were among the ancient grains discovered at the site, indicating that the prehistoric settlers may have had an agricultural lifestyle. They may also have reared livestock, according to researchers. The site is thought to be one of Western Anatolia's first human settlements. Not only were man-made objects found, but an entire system of underground residences complete with banquet halls, kitchens, living quarters and evidence of farming was also found. Historians and anthropologists are still completely perplexed as to how civilization was achieved in such an area long before the time of the Sumerians. According to the excavation commander, communities like this arrived in the region around 9,000 years ago and stayed for about a thousand years. Dinosaur Era Eggs A once-in-a-lifetime discovery has unearthed more dinosaur secrets. A bird-like theropod oviraptorsaur dinosaur with three toed limbs and feathers that is believed to have lived over 70 million years ago has been discovered sitting on a nest of eggs with fossilized offspring inside. This amazing discovery was made in Guangzhou, China's southernmost city. According to Dr. Shandong Bi, one of the study's authors, this is the first time a non-avian dinosaur has been discovered on a nest of eggs with intact embryos in a single specimen. 
The adult oviraptorsaur was found kneeling on top of at least 24 eggs, including fragmentary skeletons of the unfortunate unhatched infants. Something happened to the adult when it was incubating its eggs or perhaps guarding its nest. It was murdered. Dr. Matthew Lamana of the Carnegie Museum of Natural History says that seeing behavior like this, where an adult dinosaur sat on eggs that were just about to hatch all those years ago, is the rarest of the rare, and that this is the first one to have embryos inside the eggs indicating that this dinosaur was a caring parent who eventually gave its life while nurturing its young. A monk's murder Experts noticed an image that they believe may depict the murder of a monk while restoring a 13th century carving from Scotland's western uplands in Dumfries and Galloway. The artwork depicts a male figure wearing a monastic cloak and holding an abbot's staff with a dagger lodged in his chest. A smaller figure with a cut below his waist that looks to represent his innards falling out of his body is stationed near the victim's feet, with his right hand on his breast and the crow's ear across his body in an apparent statement of status. According to archaeologist Adrian Cox, the smaller figure could be a representation of the monk's killer. The monastery that originally stood on the site was founded in the 12th century and was home to Christian monks for nearly 400 years before falling into abandonment during the Protestant Reformation in the 16th century. There are few historical records of the monastic life there, leaving researchers very little to work with when studying the Abbey's past. That's all for today, our dear viewers. Let us know what you think of this list below. As always, thank you for the watching and remember to like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for new updates. We'll see you again next time.